and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we got some more Game of Thrones the card game second edition. We're in the feature match number two from our November 2015 monthly tournament at the Hobby Kingdom in Burlington, Ontario. Uh, where we've been doing live streams every Wednesday. Uh, so come by the channel on Wednesday. Here on YouTube we do live streams of Game of Thrones the card game with various players. You can come interact with us in the chat. And make sure you subscribe and hit the little gear button beside the subscribe button on the channel. Make sure you're notified when I post videos so you'll be notified when we go live. And we also do board gaming videos on the channel. So come by for some of those. We do those live also. Uh, and some pre-recorded. So, on the right, we have Sean again, who you saw in the last video. Make sure you go back and watch the first video of this series. So we're doing three rounds. So there will be three videos. Um... And you can see Sean play this deck. Uh, he's got quite a different start this game. Um, so go back and watch that one. And uh, on the left we have John Neal playing Stark Fealty. A deck he's been playing for a while that has had some great success with. And he starts with a Bran Stark. A Winterfell Steward, I believe he's called. The Reducer from Stark. And his Heart Tree Grove. Heart Grove Tree, wherever the reducer is in Stark. And starts with the. Both start with Calm of Westeros. And Targaryen sets up a Jamie Lannister, a Landsport Merchant, and a reducing location for Targaryen. Uh, okay. Name yours. So I believe Sean chose to go first. I also know Targaryen, I guess. Just in case you get an old Robert. So. I know Sean named Military, not sure what John named uh, the Stark player All right. for his calm over Westeros. Sink gold. Uh, so, no French words. Wrong two. Oh, yeah. Uh, five. Uh, limited? True. Yep. So, limited played by the Targaryen player. Which is a nice juicy rose road, giving him plus one gold for future rounds. <clears throat> Always nice to go first when you have Jamie Lancer, who does not kneel to attack during military challenges in which he's participating. <clears throat> he also gains renown uh, in military challenges on offense or defense. And on the Stark side, he's got Bran Stark out there, who can be sacrificed, which means goes to the discard pile to cancel an event played by your opponent. So both players having equal economy, although Sean's is spread across two factions. Oh, forgot about fealty on the Stark side, so he actually has one more, one more quote-unquote gold uh, this round. So let's see what they can do with it. can spend their economy more efficiently. So another duped Plaza of Punishment. We saw that in the last game. <laughs> and we have a reduction on a, a Lannister character, which will be a Tickler who will cost one gold. Are you sure you got Targaryen cards in there? Oh, just the support. Nice, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I'll pay one. No. Just a, uh, and Viserys Targaryen is played, so four characters now on the Targaryen side. Mainly Lannister characters, though. <coughs> and we got a dupe on Bran on the Stark side. And Littlefinger is played, who is going to draw him two cards. Not usually the military presence you're sustaining from seeing from Stark fealty uh, first round. You do see a Tumblestone Knight in hand there. And a lot of events and locations. Man, oh man, oh man. Actually two Tumblestone Knights. A couple copies of Ice. Oh, Milk of the Poppy. Okay. King's Road, I believe. Okay. So John's just digging. He's trying to dig in his deck, find some of the characters, key characters he needs to uh, stop this Jamie Payne train that's going to come rolling on through here. So military challenge unopposed, gains renown off Jamie. It's going to be claim zero, I assume, because of Commodore Westeros. <laughs> yep. 
And we have an intrigue with Jamie, strength five. <laughs> and no defenders on that, so another unopposed power bonus. Claim one card from the hand, which will be a Winter Is Coming, which raises claim uh, during a challenge <coughs> for the stocks. So, power challenge with Viserys Targaryen. Or Viserys Targaryen. Tomato, tomato. <coughs> So no defenders on that. No power to take. So Bran is burned to death, which rips right through that duplicate. Um, and then that's it. Because his strength is reduced by two, down to zero for the rest of the phase. And anytime he hits zero, he will be killed. So just keeps on going. Danny. So unopposed power, unopposed intrigue from the Stark player here, and he gets a reducing location out of the Targaryen player's hand. Dominance for the Tickler. Tickler's going to do his action. Grab the third copy of Bran. So all three copies of Bran are now in the dead or discard pile. That was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> could have been, actually that actually was the best thing I could grab. Because that's completely... Would it would have kind of... Yeah, well, that was actually... Yeah, mm -hmm. now I got to discard cards. Yeah. <clears throat> cards you I fucking want. <laughs> oh, it's two King's Roads. <laughs> in John's hand. He's actually now having to reduce down to satisfy his reserve value. So Kings are on a Tumblestone Knight. I don't know about that. You're hurting for characters. You don't get rid of characters. But then again, you don't want to get rid of those events and locations to show what you have hiding in there. But I mean, you are playing a Stark Fealty, so there's only so many options you can have. Yeah, Tumblestone Knight. I'm not sure I would have got rid of that. So heads on spikes. Played by the Starks against a Winter is Coming to claim. Keep the pressure on. Try to wipe the board of your opponent early in the game and then cruise on to victory. There goes Cal Drogo to the dead pile, gaining two power for the Starks. That's not a power. <clears throat> and he's slopping tokens all over the board here. And that brings Starks up to five against Targaryen's four. So somehow John is winning. What happened to my deck being consistent? I don't remember happening that. Oh, should I hit the table? GG. Gates of Winterfell. Yeah. Kind of missing that. <laughs> yeah, I, I drew, I think, last in the game against Storage. Alright, I said I was on first? I can see what first. You think with a two draw from the Corbin? Oh, five, right. Did you throw it? So, five gold for the Starks. What can you do with it here? He's got a Winterfell steward in hand. I see that. So, King's Road for one. Plane is limited. One limited <laughs> per round. And we got another Winterfell steward played. So you're going to claim two from military, so I guess they're going to die anyways. So I'll reduce this one. Almost so nice for free. From the two stewards bowing down to reduce by one each. It's tempting. Is there something I'm missing? I don't think so. Okay, that's my challenges. And we have an ice played for two with a field T on the Tumblestone Knight. Giving him plus two strength. If he's in a military challenge, he wins. He can throw the sword across the table at one of his opponent's character's heads and kill him. And milk the poppy on Jamie. So just trying to stay in there. Trying to make it through the next few rounds here. Holding off your opponent. So the mode John is in right now, not seeing the big start characters he needs. But he has the economy for them, he just hasn't drawn them. Exactly. I don't care, if I kneel Jamie, I kneel Jamie, whatever. Alright, Rygal is played. And we're reducing a Lannister character to play a Lannister character who is a reducing Lannister character. Yes, uh, you can't just sacrifice Will, can you? Just when he dies. Or when he leaves play. Um, 
and then I'll sit on two. And two gold saved for the Targaryen player. <coughs> I smell the put to the sword. So Fire and Blood played, putting Drogo shuffled back into the deck uh, in a moment. It's being placed on top for now. So we're getting Widow's Whale played here. So looks like Sean's trying to empty his hand before the Intrigue claim goes off. And Jamie's now plus two strength from Widow's Will. Big, big giant seven strength. On a three gold plot. Crazy. How did you do it? Because I'm a boss. Since you know I have nothing in hand. Do I want to tickle? Do I want to tickle? Shift it all around. Shift it all around. So, Targaryen player down to no cards in hand. So if John's playing wildfire, he could be in a good spot here. Clear the board down a little bit. Maybe draw some of your characters. Keep yourself in the game. But we'll see what his board looks like after the, and his hand looks like after these two claims go off here. So we'll do, yeah, we'll block with seven. Seven? Yeah. <coughs> so seven military defense with Jamie. No more. No renown on Jamie. He does uh, have a Muck of the Poppy blank in his text. <coughs> so John's trying to put on the offensive pressure here. Okay. Um, I almost wanted to, but ice just kind of. You know, when you draw two and you only play Daenerys. Uh, we will do. Power of one, reaction to winning. So Winterfell Steward burnt by the Plaza Punishment after winning a power challenge. Uh, sorry, and then I lose two because it's wins a winner. So two power so claims. Yep, yeah, and then a claim of two. Yep. And we got unopposed. So that brings the Targaryen player up to seven, I believe. Yep, seven. <coughs> I just, uh, you have no gold left. Is that a bad start? Yeah, I have no gold. Okay. Um, how many cards in hand? Uh, three. Is intrigue worth it versus a tickle? That's kind of a tough. That's kind of a tough question. Um, I will do a military just the same. So military challenge with Rygal. It's going to be two claim. So uh, we're going to lose more than two Winterfell stewards. <clears throat> John's just debating on who he's going to kill here. Ice does go back to hands. Have an ice on my hand. Because <laughs> I had a really good settle. That's why I was like, I almost put ice on one of these guys. Well, yeah, I mean, that's good. It'd be good for me if you popped in a new hand. Yeah. So if I do an intrigue, then yeah, sure. I'll, t I'll take the chance to get some ice out of hand. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Thomas Knight is chosen as a second claim. Ice will go back to hand. And Tickler is going to be used for the Entry Challenge. To claim, he will get Like Warm Rain and a copy of Ice. Sure, you got some Dire Wolves there. Yeah, that would have been pretty nice. What was the other one? Uh, ice. That was the Ice. Okay. <coughs> and then uh, that's it for my challenges. Dominance. What do you got? Like 100? I'm at 10 right now. So, score is 10 to 4. Uh, at the end of the second round. Uh, Pretty yeah. crazy yeah, I, power I game there by the Targaryen. Was, was a that was my setup. I drew no clear I'm sure I just got my first hand. And how much money you want to bet? Sean plays March to the Wall next. To clear the board. Oh, that's fine. I don't think it matters. It's all about this. For his opponent. He just gets rid of a merchant. <clears throat> Or actually, you get rid of a serious Targaryen who, when he leaves play, gets rid of that milk of the poppy. That's the play. No. There you go. March to the wall. Wildfire, wildfire assault. Like I said, John should play, but uh, his board is dead empty, so it's not looking good. <clears throat> so John goes first. He's gonna go for sure. I just chooses wildfire to go off first. 
So if I might want to play him again another time. I guess March probably better for him. Because he's got a military yeah. challenge with four power. So Sean's just debating who to kill here. Before you start drawing, before you start drawing, you're like, Drogon's on top. Oh, he's shuffling his deck here. They forgot to shuffle Drogon back in when he played the Fire and Blood. <clears throat> so we're still in the middle of choosing who's going to die for wildfire. Actually, who's going to be saved and who will be killed for wildfire assault. And then we'll have a march after that. So depending on which characters... Uh, you know what? I will do that, actually. I'll claim Tickler. So Tickler's dead. And then... And series is discarded from March, which is going to get rid of that Milk of the Poppy, like I said. And now we have Jamie and Rigal staring down an empty board of characters across from him. I trust you enough to put Drago right on the bottom. <laughs> So we got a draw from both players here. Okay. Top decking for the Targaryens. So four gold. We got a King's Road there, a Hartree Grove, a second Hartree Grove, and fealty reduction. So got some economy there from the Starks, but doesn't look like many options. It's got a For the North, I believe, a copy of Ice, and uh, Grey Wind, the Intimidate Direwolf. Because he's Edward, he's Edward Stark. He just he just walks around trying to be loyal to everybody. So, John doesn't have many options here. Can he push through a military? Or at least scare Jamie into defending one? No, yeah, no attachments there, no attachments, so Ice cannot be played on Greywin. He's got, he's got a sword in his mouth. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I grab five. So all five gold spent by the Targaryen player to put tar uh, ty blah, 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 blah. Tyrion into play. He's got stealth, and he's going to get uh, two gold generated every time an entry challenge is. <clears throat> initiated. When you swing for the wind, I guess uh, 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 I can buff the game wrong. Sure. Great multiplier. Military for four. So military challenge for four with Grey Wind. What do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten all ten. Ten. Yeah, I will. And then now eleven. Because I'm the all pose. So defend would matter. For defend with Jamie. Oh, John's just gonna concede there. So that is it. He's got nothing to come back with. So, and yeah, he wishes he saw those two. He had them in the first hand, so he shuffled them back. Wish he had Arya early, but he did not. So, congrats on Sean, second win in a row here on this video series from Hobby Kingdom. So, come by Wednesdays live streaming from Hobby Kingdom and chat with us Game of Thrones fans in the chat and watch us play some Thrones. And make sure you subscribe, like I said, to the channel if you're interested in this. And hit the like button below if you like the Game of Thrones 2nd Edition content and want to see more. Thanks a lot for stopping by, guys. I'll see you in the next video.